What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hoodrat Gaming. I am Hoodrat and today I bring you NHL 17's beta. Now, if you watched my last video, I said that I would try to get a video out of this the day of it coming out, if not the day after. Today it's the day after, so I'm going to give you guys a look at the menu, what's going on with this game. So let's jump right into this real quick. I want to get you guys started with NHL 17. Um, let's let's skip past this, you know, agreement. You know, nobody ever reads that stuff. I'm going to set up these settings real quick. I'm probably going to change them later. Uh, I'm just going to set it up real fast just so that we can jump into the game. Now, I'm not going to really jump into the EASHL today. I'm going to mostly focus on the Hockey Ultimate Team mode to see what's going on with that, you know, new synergy uh, mode that they got in the game and the aspect of the game. So I want to jump into that so we can look at that and see what's going on. Um, see if we can open up some kind of pack. I'm not too sure uh, how it's going to look, so I want to, you know, see what's going on. Uh, I'm probably not going to get any footage of, you know, Hut games today. Uh, I might have some out tomorrow. I'm going to try to, but I'm not too sure. Like I said, my laptop's still broken, guys. And I'm trying to get you guys this footage, and it's incredibly hard for me. So thank you for bearing with me, and thank you for sticking around and watching these videos. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to have some footage out soon. The only problem is NHL 16 is still up and running, so I'm kind of torn between playing this for the next week or if I'm still trying to you know help my other team out and but who knows I'm probably gonna do both so let's update this real quick um, I hope you guys are playing this too I got I hope you guys got the you know got the beta for this if your friends got it and you didn't uh, the beta came with two extra codes for your, your friends so if you didn't get one uh, maybe you have a friend who has that and maybe they can lend you a code that they got um, I'm not too sure if they did that with the uh, PSN but um, I know they did it for Xbox Live so I hope you guys can get that code from your friends if you guys, uh, if your friends haven't, you didn't get to do it. So let's jump into this real quick. Uh, let's see the beta, the hut beta is right there. Uh, looks like Drew on the cover, uh, that uh, picture. And then there's Terrasenko right there. That's the online versus play. And I, I'm curious to see how the EA SHL modes is gonna look like. It's you know, if I was a bigger fan of EA SHL, I would look into it. But I'm more of a hut fan myself, so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna try to you know jump into that EASHL so let's download these rosters real quick and uh, see what's going on I so far I like you know the screen um, name your team okay uh, doesn't have a import option uh, okay there's no import option to import your team from NHL 16 so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that uh, this isn't gonna carry over into NHL 17 when the game comes out I'm just gonna you know you can't see me typing but I am typing my team name in right now but I'm going to go ahead and make that assumption that this isn't going to carry over into NHL 17, which is kind of a bummer. But I can understand that, you know, they don't want anybody to have a bigger jump on, you know, the game compared to everybody else. So that's a little bit of a downgrade. I hope it's not, you know, I don't know what else to say. I, I really wish that we could import our team, but I guess not. So I hope I'm wrong. You know, maybe this is going to carry over and we just don't know it yet. So let's see how these pack openings work. It's kind of weird. Um... Do I? I guess you do. Okay, you have to go over each individual icon so it starts to open. Um, so far, I got Nick Spalling, Derek McKenzie, Chris Neal, uh, a gold contract for 15 games, another gold contract for 15 games. Uh, Jacob Kindle, okay, he's a pretty good, uh, pretty pretty good player. Uh, Andre Vasilevsky. Um, anybody else? Okay, Anders Lindbach. Okay, let's go to the next one. Kings jersey. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Um, Another Kings jersey, again, expected. Uh, is that Mika Solomaki? Luke Gaz Gazdik? <laughs> Gazdik? Gazdik? Cedric Paquette? Another gold contract. Uh, Kings logo, okay. David Savard, all right. Uh, Joel Edmondson? Kings Arena, okay, Staples Center. Another gold contract for 15 games. Lyndon Vey, okay. Rob Scuderi? Uh, Jarrett Stoll, uh, Zach Trotman, Dwight King, Marco Scandella, Garrett Sparks, Tom Gilbert, uh, who else do we got here? An oh, okay, a healing card, uh, Matt Barkowski, another gold contract for 15 games, Eddie Lack, Thomas Vanek, Trevor Lewis and Andy Andreoff. Okay, so that's the way pack opening looks like so far. I'm not too sure if it's going to look like that uh, the entire time you open a pack. I kind of hope not. I really wish that they're going to have, you know, 
that animation where you can either watch it or skip through it and every player jumps out of the pack or any contract jumps out of the pack. I really hope it goes to that, um, but it, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't opened another pack yet. I'm just kind of getting this menu up for you guys so you can see what it's going to look like. Uh, so far, it looks like in this beta, every day is a thousand coins for you logging in. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's probably not going to be that way and actual when the actual game comes out, it's probably going to be the same kind of increasing you know coin um, amount every day but um, I can I can understand for the beta why they're gonna have it a thousand coins every day right now so let's look at these um, this menu real quick it's looks pretty good I like the way it looks um, it looks sleek I know it's like weird it's kind of a weird it's kind of weird for me to use these words but uh, I do like it so far you know introducing synergy and the team of the week um, you know the menus are pretty similar it's just you know the colors and the you know there's not much depth to the background but let's take a look at the team of the week um, Andre Kopitar, Crosby, and Thornton. Let's go backwards. Let's start with line four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go towards the end here. Dowdy, Bufflin, and Carlson. You see two defensemen right there. You can see that. I guess now the positions aren't gonna matter. Tarasenko, Perry, and Kane with this synergy type of play they got going on that anybody can be anywhere. Ben, Hall, and Nash. Okay, and see it back to Kopitar, Crosby, and Thornton. So that's that's kind of strange and interesting. Um, who knows? Look at Seabrook and Keith. Okay, that's obvious. They're actual defensemen. Uh, Taze and Ovechkin. See, I don't know. They got hard, hard shots, guys. So it maybe makes sense why they're on the point with you know Ekman, Larson, and Subban. So it's kind of kind of strange to see defensemen playing, you know, forwards and forwards playing on the defensive side. So I guess it's it's pretty neat at the same time that you can use the players' attributes to everybody's advantage. If you're a forward, you don't have to play a forward. You can play any point you'd like in the game, whether you're uh, center playing left wing, left wing to right wing. Uh, left D to right D, right D to center. Who knows how you, however you want to handle it. I like that aspect of the game because now these games are going to be more, um, I don't know, universal and more unique and uh, custom. I guess you know, every team's going to be different. You're not going to see uh, Ovechkin on one team as a left wing, but maybe he's going to be a right D on somebody else's. It's cool. I guess it brings the aspect of the power play lineup and you know your four man power play and your four man penalty kill and stuff. On you, you can customize that. So maybe are they not gonna have, you know, change position cards, and is it not gonna matter? Like, uh, I, I'm waiting to find out. As you can see, my lineup. I'm not really gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna show you what it kind of did on its own. But so far, this beta looks pretty good, guys. It looks like everything it was meant to be. Uh, no coach yet. I'm gonna try to play some games later today. Like I said, I'm gonna have some clips out hopefully tomorrow. Um, it's not looking good though. I'm gonna try but who knows with the situation I got like I said I still don't have my laptop, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to Get a clip out to you guys So I just want to give you guys another quick run around of the menu screen and this is what hut packs look like 1500 and 3000 15 items and four rare so right now they only got two types of packs out for the beta um, interesting to see that this is the look that they're gonna have because if it doesn't carry over into NHL 17 um, you know what's the point of having a pack but at the same time it's it's pretty interesting I'm gonna try to you know I have a thousand coins ready just for you know starting up the beta so I'm gonna play a little bit later today let you know what's going on I'm probably still gonna play NHL 16 today but we'll see what's going on with that but thanks for watching guys I hope you guys like this stay tuned for some more stuff I hope you guys get to play the beta and follow me on Twitter at hoodrat gaming thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later